is going to be a short tutorial on how to edit raw files in Lightroom 3. So first when you open Lightroom you'll get the window for library um, and you can go to import and select a folder that you would like to import from. Now I'm going to choose this folder raw edit and I'm going to edit this file right here so make sure it's checked off and any files that are already imported are grayed out so you can't import them but um, I'm going to import this one so this one's checked off and then you can click import and also once you I'm sorry I apologize for that um, and once you I lost track um, you can Jeez, everybody's calling me. Um, <laughs> once you open um, Lightroom, you can also insert a camera and it will automatically open the import menu. Um, so let's go ahead and click on develop for this image. Um, so, I don't know, this, this photo is a test shot and I just got the... Um, this camera which is a Nikon D5100 um, so let me try changing the white balance um, by you can do that by clicking W and you know it changes it slightly so what you want to do is when you click W you um, click on a point that's white and then it will change the warmth of it now if you click on a point that's not white this is what will happen so you don't want that Anyway, um, so let's see, what can I do here? It's not much I could do, you know, add some blacks, maybe a little fill light. I don't really like adding fill light. Um, how about some contrast? Now the good thing about um, raw files is that when you edit them, there's not going to be like any, um, any like, distortion in the image really because it's a raw file um, if you edit a JPEG there might be some you know distortion around the edges of things in your photo um, maybe I'll bring up the shadows and the darks and the lights kind of down a bit make it a neutral image um, I can also go to HSL Change the saturation of the reds, maybe, and down a little bit, and the oranges also. And um, maybe add a little bit of sharpening. I don't want to add too much. Now the image is kind of noisy, not really much, so I'm just going to add some noise reduction and keep the detail up. Um, and this is all about experimenting so you know you can try to add exposure or try bringing it down and same thing with you know other um, what are these called? <laughs> scrolly thingies <laughs> Um, and recovery, what recovery does, it brings up details that weren't seen really before. So recovery, I don't know, this isn't a good example. Say you have a canvas that is white and you have a sketch on it and the sketch isn't really visible. If you bring up the recovery a bit, um, that will show up more. Um, and you can also play around with brightness, contrast and clarity, vibrance, and saturation, you know. Um, and to make the photo black and white, you can either go here and change, play around with the Lightroom presets, and it will probably be closed for you, so what you want to do is click the little arrow, you know, play around with it, see what you like. Um, to make it black and white, you can also just click the letter V 
which will make it black and white, and to undo it, you can click it again. Um, clarity, you know, kind of makes things, I guess, clear. This works better if you have a portrait, um, I think. There's the gradient tool, which, um, you know, so I'm going to go from where the light is coming and put the center point where the flowers are, which is right here. And I'm going to put the clarity to zero, change the exposure a bit, not by much. Up the sharpness. Then to close it, you just click again. Um, to crop, this is how you crop. Oops, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, this is how you crop. Just drag the edges to the area you want. You get a little preview over here in the corner, left corner. And to finalize it, you click Done. And to undo, you click Apple Z until you get to the original image. Um, this is a blemish removal and this is a red eye removal. This is a masking brush so what this does is if you have a really dark section or a really saturated section that you want changed this is what you can use. Now I can bring down the saturation if I, if I want that's a lot and I can bring up the exposure if it's a little too dark to keep it even and stuff like that so you can play around with it and see what comes out and um, once you're finished with the file if you want to export it as a JPEG to I don't know share on a website like Facebook or anything like that you go to file export and then you choose JPEG and just check to see if everything's okay. So you want it on JPEG. You know, you can choose desktop, home folder. So I like to save it on the desktop. And you click export. And you wait a bit until this little bar disappears. And once it disappears, it means it's done exporting and you are free to post the file wherever you'd like. And um, this was a very short tutorial, and if you'd like more on Lightroom, I'm open to requests. Um, I'm kind of new at this, but I mean, I learn quickly, so I have a book on it too. Um, this was a very bad shot. I apologize for it. I'll have better shots in the future. This was just a test shot. Alright, thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment.